So Gavin Southgate says that there's no problem between him and Ben White personally. There's no issue with his uh, assistant coach, Steve Holland, and, and Ben White, as had been rumoured after that World Cup. Ben White has asked via Edu uh, to not play for England and not be involved in this squad. Rory Jennings, what do you make of this situation? I think it's a real shame. I think it's really sad for, for everyone involved. I'm disappointed because I rate Ben White very highly. I think, he's, I think he's an excellent player. I think you could easily argue that this calendar year, he has been Arsenal's best and most important player. If you think about the run that they've been on, they've won eight games can, uh, in a row. Mm. And he is probably one of the major reasons as to why. You know, you look at the way that he performs in both boxes. You see the impact that he has on Arsenal when they're trying to score from set pieces, which they do invariably. You look at how he defends so uh, robustly. You look at the, the quality when in possession. You know, two assists against Brentford. Huge. He's, a, he's an excellent player. And I am aware that I'm building him up here. And it is all true what I'm saying. But I am about to chop him down. Because, look, I'm, I'm disappointed. But I'm also slightly disgusted. Like, I th- I th- what do you mean you don't want to play for your country? What do you mean you don't want to represent England? Like, who on earth do you think you are to to say no to England? England needs you. We're in a situation where Ben White is so good that I would actually make a case that Ben White should start for England, not even in the position that he plays. That's how good I think he is. Mm. I would argue that Ben White should start for England in his former position as a centre-half alongside John Stones. That is a testament to his brilliance because I think that he has been so good this season that you actually play him for England over players who have been playing in their rightful position when he's been playing out of position. Do you know what makes it frustrating for me? It's like you say, it's not like Ben White is another one of the attacking talent. It's not like he's a player that would definitely be just sat on the bench and waiting to take his chance. This is a player that could easily, easily be in that starting 11 for England. He's a player that we need. He's a player Mm. that, you know... he can start as centre back. He can start as a wing back. He's put in some fantastic performances, as you say, for Arsenal this season. And I know what you mean about the the playing for your country. But the thing is, if you even put that aside, if you even put aside the fact that you know he might not want to represent England for one reason or another, surely as a footballer, you would look at this chance to go to the Euros mm. and win a trophy. A big trophy, the first for England for years and years and years. Surely you would look at that and think, we've got an unbelievable chance. I want to be a part of that. That's the thing as a fan, I just can't get my head I, I can't either. It, it doesn't make any sense to me. It doesn't, it doesn't correlate with anything that I understand about being a footballer. Like Ben White is an excellent footballer. We've seen that when he was playing for Bielsa. We've seen it at Brighton and we've seen it at Arsenal. He's a fantastic player that can contribute and has the skill set to link up with the likes of... Foden and Saka and Harry Kane and Jude Bellingham. How do you not want to do that? Mm. How is that not just something that inspires you? And look, what will always chime with me far more, I follow England. You know, I've done four England tournaments away. I've done countless England home and away games. I will always want to... I will always empathise with somebody who wants to play for England and it will never resonate with me if you don't. I'm very much... Do you remember David Beckham? Mm. When David Beckham said, I will never retire for England. So if he got a call up now, he would always do his best for England. That is what I relate to. That Mm. makes sense to me. Well, it's what a lot of England fans relate to, let's be fair. Ben White choosing to not be part of an England team going to Germany, surely just for the fun of it. Yeah. That would be an amazing experience. Yeah, yeah. yeah. With the best chance of winning a tournament. And he starts. And he definitely starts in... He's sent out like you know when we talk about who's going to play centre half. Mm. You know you can you could make a valiant case for Mark Gay here if you want. You could make a valiant case for Victor Mori if you want. I don't know maybe Lewis Dunk if you want. Well, we're going the to come on to that ben in a minute. White, by the way. But, but yeah, the ben answer White. is yeah. Ben White. Mm. So the fact that Ben White has done, I find the sneeriness. I find turning your nose up when your country needs you. I think it's appalling. I really do. I think it's appalling. Can I just ask you one question though? Because what we heard there from Gareth Southgate is that he said, "Look, he said no. He doesn't want to play." Okay, and then he said, I, I don't really know why, but, you know, there's no issue between me and him. If you were Gareth Southgate, and I just want your opinion on this, would you not be trying to fight tooth and nail to try and convince him to get into no, this team? Or absolutely would you be there not. like, do you know what, you don't want to play five, Absolutely not. No, 100% not. Even if he, but even I don't if think he, he should ever play for England again, even post. The, my, my approach would be that Ben White doesn't play for England ever again. You turn your back on your country when they need you, no, absolutely not. Regardless of when a new manager so, comes so, in. Oh, really? So, yeah, yeah, so yeah, what yeah. if it came out? What if 
it, what if when and we're, we're massively speculating here we don't really know the full facts of course but imagine if you know Gareth Southgate leads and suddenly Ben White's like oh yeah I'll, I'll turn up again you, you're saying no don't care I'm, say, I'm you, saying you, that disrespect you, to the last manager you're not playing for England it isn't when your country call you up it isn't about any individual it's about your country needing you we have been waiting since 1966 to try and win some silverware and we have half a chance here it isn't about Gareth Southgate. If you don't like Southgate, that should be completely irrelevant. What we're trying to achieve is so much grander than your pathetic. Is there a, is there an issue with Southgate or isn't there? Like grow up if there is, grow up if there isn't, and just get on with it. Do the job. Ben White happens to have been blessed and have worked incredibly hard to have a, a, a talent. Mm. His country need that talent, and he says no. He's going to be busy in Dubai or doing whatever he does. You know, it's like I really, I really think it's pathetic. I think he's a little drip, to be totally honest with you. Mm, it's uh, it's uh, it's certainly a tough situation for for Gareth Southgate. And I, I, I don't know when he spoke today. I kind of thought we'd hear a bit more of his side of it and, and kind of th- hear him say, "Oh well, you know, actually there has been a bit of a disagreement." But it's the fact that he's there going, "No, the doors do, open." Do you know what? The doors do you know open. What? If if there has been a proper issue. So say say there is a legitimate reason and yeah. we don't know the ins and outs of it. Yeah, we don't, say we something don't. did happen in Qatar, as social media was speculating. Something big happened in Qatar, Steve Holland and, and Ben White clashed and Ben White now says because of that clash, I cannot go. I want to go. I pledge full mm, loyalty mm. to my country. I'd love to be able to help the lads but it is impossible at the moment because of X, Y and Z. Yeah. If that is the case, then I think we have a right to know if it isn't the case, if if it's simply, I don't know, I want a summer holiday. Mm. I don't care about international football, I guess. I don't, it's it's not something that I can ever understand. And I just think it's such a shame. It's, because England's it's a shame, chances, isn't it? It's, 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 yeah. a real, it's a real shame. But I think Ben White has made the wrong decision. Mm. I just, I, all I can imagine, Rory, to be honest with you, is him maybe sitting in Dubai or wherever, or sitting on the sofa when he's... When he's uh, when he's, you know, relaxing this summer and, spray and maybe watching England win the Euros and mm. maybe thinking, I could have been part of that squad. I, I could well, have I mean, been he... part of that squad, could have been part of yeah. that, that piece of history. But I don't know, maybe it's something that, that doesn't doesn't float his boat. It's, not, it's, it's just not, it's bizarre not, It doesn't in make my sense head. being a yeah, footballer, though. It doesn't make isn't, sense. Isn't the point of being a footballer, like, for the for the constant improvement and the constant challenge and the constant pursuit of, of top-tier silverware, mm. isn't that how you become one of the best footballers in the league? And he is that. And yet he doesn't have this sheer drive. Like, you know when Carragher said he didn't want to play for England anymore? Mm. It wasn't the same. Carragher no. said it because he couldn't get in the team. You know, there were there were so many centre-halves that I rated Carragher very highly. I mm. think he's a brilliant player. But he just happened to exist at a time where he couldn't get a game. Carragher this, played for this England totally team. This is a totally different situation. This is a totally different yeah. situation. Yeah. And this just doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. Yeah. Uh, let me ask you a bit about uh, the rest of the squad as well. I uh, just want your opinions on a few things. Uh, firstly, Aaron Ramsdale gets a call-up. Hasn't played... Chris. Hasn't played a lot of football now, and there's been big calls for Jack Butland, who plays uh, for Rangers, has been banging form mm. in the Scottish League. Uh, you know, are you surprised at the fact, firstly, that Ramsdale's in the squad, and secondly, that Butland hasn't got a call up? I think it should have been Butland. I don't think you can take Ramsdale now. I really don't. Regardless of what you think of him. So I rate Ramsdale as a goalkeeper very highly. I think he's, if you look at his performances over the last two years, not, not this season, last season, and crucially, the season before, he was immense. Mm. Very good season last season as Arsenal nearly won the league. He's a he's a very good goalkeeper, but I think there's loads going on that we don't know. There's loads going on the way that he conducts himself. I don't think you can have him around the camp, and I don't think you can rely on him. So I don't think it's poor that he's not in. And yes, Butland should be on AM on DAB via the Talksport app and on your smart speaker. Talksport.